Okay then my friends, so the first thing we need to do is create a new Nuxt application and the easiest way to do that is by using the Nuxt CLI. Now before you do this, remember to make sure you've been through the recommended setup which I talked about in the last lesson. And then if we scroll down a bit, we can see that it tells us to use the command right here, npx nuxi init nuxt app, where nuxt app is the name of your application. So you can change this to something else if you want. And then we use the code command to open VS Code in that new directory that Nuxt creates for us. Once we've got that open in VS Code, we just then need to install all the dependencies using npm install. So let's do all of this now on our computer. All right then, so open up your terminal and navigate to whatever directory you want to create this project in, and then type npx nuxi init, and then the name of your project, I'm going to call it nuxt-dojo, but call it whatever you want and then press enter. This is going to go ahead and create a brand new Nuxt project for us. It might just take a minute or so. All right, so once that's done, we need to CD into that directory. So I'll say CD Nuxt hyphen dojo like so. And then I'm going to open this up in Visual Studio Code by tapping code and then a full stop to open this in the current directory. So press enter. And this, my friends, is our new Nuxt application. All right then, so what I'm going to do is now just install all of the dependencies. So let me open up a terminal and down here I'm going to type npm install like so. So now we've created the Nuxt project and we've installed all the project dependencies. Let me walk you through what all of these files are in the project. First, we have this Nuxt config file right here, which is a TypeScript file. Now, Nuxt does recommend this file remaining as a TypeScript file, but the rest of your application code doesn't have to be TypeScript. It can be JavaScript if you so wish. And this config file right here is for you to extend or change the default Nuxt configuration for your project. You could add custom metadata here or register modules here. You could also add environment variables like API keys in this file for use in other places in your application. We'll be adding to this file later on in the course so that you will see it in action. Next up, we've got the view file, the app.view file right here. This is the default root component of the application. We'll be deleting this later, but for now, if we were to preview the site, this would act as the homepage content. Now you can see right now we have a small amount of content inside this component and actually Nuxt is using this built-in content component to output some content onto the page. This is a completely baked in component which includes a lot of content inside it that we can't actually see here. And Nuxt has probably done it this way so that the whole app component isn't full of messy content that we're probably just going to delete anyway. So we'll see what content this pumps out when we preview the app in a browser shortly. The Nuxt folder is used by Nuxt during development to generate the Nuxt application and you don't need to go exploring inside this folder or change anything inside it. And finally, we just have our git ignore file for version control and our package files. So that's a quick tour of the application. Next up, we want to run the app so we can preview it in a browser. To do that, open up a terminal in the root directory of the project and type npm run dev and then press enter. This is going to spin up a local dev server and show us a link in the terminal which we can then use to preview the site. Okay then, so this is what it looks like currently in a browser. So this is all content driven from that Nuxt welcome component inside the app.view component right there. We are going to replace all of this later on, but at least now we know this is working and we can preview this in a browser. Awesome. So what I'm going to do now is just go and make a quick change to the app.view component. I'm going to delete all of this right here and just replace it with a P tag that says, hello ninjas or something like that and press save. And when we save this, it's going to auto update in the browser. And we can see that right here. Awesome. So that's the Nuxt app up and running. We've created the app. We've installed all the dependencies. We've spun up a local dev server and we can preview it now in the browser. So in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how we can make multiple pages using view components.